G'day friends and welcome to another one of my videos. Today by popular request we are going to do the miniature effect on the Canon M50. I've been getting a lot of inquiries about how I did it in one of my other videos, on the time lapse video actually. And so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do those beautiful little miniature style looking uh, time lapses. Uh, so if you want to learn how to do them, stick around. And welcome back. Well, we're here in Sydney's beautiful Darling Harbour. We're actually looking for a great location to actually do our toy time lapse. Now, one of the very important aspects of getting it right is that you have to make sure you're elevated enough uh, to get a good visual of the landscape, but at the same time, not high enough so that you lose some of that detail. So you want to see the people moving, you want to see the car details uh, to, in order to make it interesting. So you don't want to be too high. Bring back that smile and make it worthwhile. Now the great thing about a convention center when there's no conventions, the place is actually really quiet. There's no one here at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I think I've found a great place to actually do our very first one. So I'll take the footage uh, and then I'll obviously do the tutorial uh, as uh, we get some results and compile it back home. But uh, let's use uh, this particular location for our first run at doing a miniature time lapse. Before we hit the record button, let's go into the settings and configure the camera so we're ready to take our miniature time lapse. Now there's two ways to do this. The first way is the most simplest way which is in the creative effects or creative filters mode choose your filter scroll down all the way till you see the miniature effect and hit ok now without any further configuration you are ready to hit the record button at the top of the camera and then that will start shooting your miniature time lapse the second way to actually get into a more configurable mode is by switching it to the movie recording mode. Now this is not as intuitive as the one we just did in the filters, but if you go into this mode, choose mode, I'm going to pick the automatic. And then what you'll notice is that we are now ready to shoot a video. But on the top right hand corner, you see the queue. And on the bottom right hand corner in this sub menu, you will see the off icon with little buildings. Now that brings up the miniature effects mode. Then you can choose, and now you can choose five times the speed, 10 times the speed, and 20 times the speed. Now what we're gonna do is choose five times the speed and then hit the back button at the top and we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is shoot off a video to give you an example. I know it's alright, we're one of a kind, I'll leave you behind. And all through the night, when we're running blind, I got love on my mind. Okay, now let me explain to you how you can configure this particular uh, movie uh, to suit your needs. Now, first of all, right in the center of the camera, you'll notice these parallel lines. Now, these are your lines that show you the center of focus. Now, you can change this by hitting the bottom right hand button. And then now you can actually change the focus point depending on what it is that you want to highlight in your miniature video. So set it in the right place and then hit set. Now anything in that white, like between those white bars will be in focus. And then everything outside those white bars will gradually be out of focus in order to give it that effect. Okay, so I've set myself up for the very first one. Now the actual miniature time lapse uh, has variations in the way you can set it up. One of the key things to remember in order to give it this realistic look, you have to be looking down onto your subject, but it has to be at an angle of roughly about 30 degrees to give it that feeling that their miniatures as a person is looking down onto them. Um, now the camera allows you to do different frame rates uh, and we're going to do a test of those frame rates and I'll show you the results of each one as we take them. Hit the Q button again 
go to the bottom of the screen and what we're going to do is we're going to experiment with the different speeds. First of all, it's five times. Then 10 times. And then 20 times. Now, you have to remember that because you are shooting at different frame rates, the higher you go, the longer the movie recording needs to be. What I mean by that is that 20 times the speed to get a reasonably length movie, you have to do it for longer than you would at five times the speed, which means that you get more frames and the movie uh, will not be cut off as soon as it would be on the 20. So just remember, the higher you go, the longer you have to shoot your video. Okay, we walked over to location number two, which is Piedmont Bridge just behind me. So we're going to uh, go up the stairs and climb the bridge and then we're going to have a different uh, point of view as far as the miniature time lapse is concerned. What we're going to do is do a vertical one. In this next example, we're going to show you how to set up the camera so it's actually vertical and not horizontal. So if you are taking a different type of shot, you can change that and in the configuration by hitting once again the little icon on the bottom right hand corner and you'll notice now here you have one that has a arrow going to the right and the left. Now I'm going to select that and notice what it does, it flips our focus center or focus bar um, vertically and horizontally and you can also now move it depending on where it is that you want to shoot your focus. Once you are happy with it, you hit set and then it is ready to shoot. So all you need to do now is press the record button, the red button at the top of the camera, and it will shoot a vertical miniature time lapse. different because of the widescreen nature of the actual shot. You'll notice there's a lot more blurring on the side. So it all depends on how much you actually want to focus that miniature effect in the middle. But if you want it to look specifically good, I'd say you leave a little uh, focus right in the middle and don't go too far wide. That way it will give it a better perspective. Oh my god, I gotta give me one of those boosted boards rock. I don't care how old I am, I'm gonna get one. And re regenerate breaking. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's oh, my oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> no, just joking, so thanks, buddy. A little bit about the boards because I saw it zooming past right past okay. me. Okay, right? right. So tell me what the, who makes them and what they are. Okay, the board you just seen down here that you saw going past this one here. Um, oh, that's what I want. Well, it's, it's, it's gone already. It's gone already. It's already. <laughs> okay, that's the Zill board, and that's uh, the gentleman here in person is here, the designer and the actual engineer. He makes them and designs them. Yeah, it's incredible technology. It's the Zill board, but yeah, check out my channel. Andrew Penman. Uh, Andrew Penman. Andrew that's Penman. Andrew Penman YouTube. Channel. You'll see my channel. I review skateboards. I make no money. I don't do anything. I just do it for fun. But uh, yeah. What's the point of that? That's what I reckon. <laughs> hey, so Andrew, tell me. Uh, so how much was that price again that you okay. got before? On the for real board. Th th this one here. This for real board. They are built-in hub motors yeah. and they are incredible design. They're actually 270 US dollars with shipping. Shipping's about 100 bucks. So 400 dollars shipped to your door. That's what it is. That's insane price. And they, these are the 
cutting edge Chinese skateboard, this one. This is the way I go, the Timo, the Onan, the Own Wheel, uh, the, the Meepo, but this is the best motors. They're hand-built motors and they just are insane. So if you're gonna get one, guys, if anyone's watching this, get a Vareel. They are hand-built, hand-wound, thick coils, nothing like the other ones, yeah. So. I'm sold, you got yeah. me. You had me at hello. <laughs> okay, wasn't it great meeting Andrew, another fellow YouTuber? So when I get home, I'm gonna check out his channel. Obviously, I'll put a link to his channel at the uh, end of this video. Uh, but it was great to get out and about today in Darling Hub and take that uh, time-lapse footage in miniature mode. And I hope that this tutorial helps you guys a lot. I've been getting quite a number of inquiries about how I've done it in other videos. So hopefully uh, you'll find this one helpful. And how cool were those boosted boards and those prices? I'm guessing that those American companies are going to have a, a bit of a... Uh, a bit of competition from their uh, Chinese counterparts. I can't wait to try one out. And I will look up uh, Andrew on uh, YouTube and see if I can collaborate with him in future videos. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, and uh, if you like the video, obviously, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Your support really helps. And then until the next time, ciao for now.